Eni babu keli kusa sangoku e di dini we di buki le di 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 hamenga nyawo and yeah here I am zaguza mauku ni fundi so so I had a long walk and I recorded a video video and there was this little pink dot that was caused by the reflection of the sun. And it like basically messed up the whole video. So I'm re-recording this video. So a little bit of a schlep, but I'll do it better this time. That's the way I see it. So today we're gonna do requests and gratitude. Okay. So in Gosa, to say I asked, you say Ndikela. So Kela is um please or I ask. So if you say ndikela ukutya, you say please may I have some food. Or ndikela manzi, please can I have some water. Um, maybe if you're talking to somebody and or, or you want to sit somewhere, you can say ndikela ukutlala panzi, please may I sit down. Or please may I go. Ndikela ukuhamba. Um, so maybe you're talking to someone and then the conversation is dragging on and you need to go somewhere. Then you say, Ndikela ukuhamba. Um, so those are some requests. Um, uh, if someone requests something from you, um, maybe they say, Ndikela am... Okay, they probably won't come up to you straight away and say, Ndikela ima... Ndikela... Ndikela mali. Or Nikola Imali, which means please can I have some money or something like that. Maybe if there's like a or Nikola um, please can I have some assistance or some help? Then you can say if, if you can help, you can say Ewe Kulungi Le Nzakungeta. Um, but if you can't, then you say Hai Andikwaz Ukungeta Ngoku Ukolo. Or hi, andi na yo imalingo ku. Or hi, andi na yo ichingingo ku. So these are like requests. Um, now to express gratitude, if you want to say thank you in Kosa, the simplest way is engo si. Now if you, that means thank you. Um, if you want to say thank you very much, then you say engo si kakulu. Engos kakulu, engos kakulu, um, which means thank you very much, as I just said. If you want to say I'm grateful or thank you, and like maybe I feel it's a little bit of a deeper way, but I don't think it's necessarily like that. Then you say ndiabulela, so ndi ya bulela, I am grateful or I'm thanking you. That would be, or I'm thanking, I suppose, would be the direct translation. But, Njabulela. So maybe a guy um, helps you um, with giving you directions or something like that. Then you say, Njabulela, Tata. Or, Njabulela, Mama. Njabulela, Sisi. Njabulela, Puti. Njabulela, Mshobowam. So all of these different ways. Tata, Mama also adds a little bit of respect and then you you're starting to create a more compassionate and like tangible connection with people um you know using your emotions and your feelings in your communication which is really you know about honesty and transparency and things like that um i think that's pretty much it i think to say you're welcome you say wamkelekile so you could say that if someone comes into your home and you say which means welcome but you can also say like you welcome like if someone says then you say or to say it's okay you say so maybe someone says and you say which means it's okay and I suppose another thing you could say, if you want to say it's not a problem, you say akunaki, akunaki. So a is negative, ku means is, in this instance, naki is a problem. So it's not a problem. Akunaki, it's not a problem. Um, I think, 
Yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So, um, hit the subscribe button if you want more closer videos and the bell symbol for no notifications via email or when you log onto YouTube. Uh, thumbs up if you enjoyed it, thumbs down if you didn't, and then maybe tell me in the comment section why you didn't like it and how I can improve or if you have any questions or suggestions or requests or just want to say hello then go into the comment section and uh, fire away guys so nam diabulela thank you for watching and i hope you have a great blessed day much love and wishing you all the peace and i suppose abundance why not say eh? a little bit of abundance in there guys Okay, cheers.